kind of a shame i'm like i understand why they do it like that why they say that like you know uh okay we can't give another power pass because it's too early it's too fast right i mean that part i understand it's okay but why couldn't you tell us earlier for that because like so it's not me obviously because i don't care right but some people wanted to main destroyer they get the power pass and then they used it on glavier because under the pretense of like the other three region always gets a power pass whenever there is a new class release right there you know it's not about like you know oh i don't get power pass i match no it's not about that it's the fact that like you used already because like we didn't know before like if they say that like you know this power pass is for both destroyer and glavier if you use it you won't get another one for destroyer just tell us that you know fuck the other ones okay uh, we can read this one first then. So yeah, destined for destruction may update reveal right here. So yeah. Okay, heroes in Arcasia last month's April May roadmap gave a first look at what you could expect in May's major update. In the article, discuss our approach, managing player progression, feedback to find the correct release. Yeah, such as the Vault Legion raid and the Descaluda. Okay. After closely monitoring alongside small gate, we feel that enough of our players has reached item level needed to participate or is within easy striking distance to get there over the next few weeks. That's about right, basically. I mean, it's about, it's about to be expected, right? We've talked about this like for a long time as well. This is the right time for these activities to enter the western shores of Arcasia. So yeah, how many of you are close or at least already there? <laughs> how many of you right there? <clears throat> there is a 13, there is a 14, 15 one as well. It is never our goal for players to feel they need to, uh, to pay to progress and players who haven't reached the item level requires to participate shouldn't feel pressured continue to enjoy the ex uh, explore, uh, journey of exploration and challenging yourself at your own pace newer players eager to hit the high levels required to participate in NGV. we hope that the extra event mission and extension of the guardian raid event to may 19 will help you progress while still teaching the past variety of mechanics uh, of game modes in lost art so yeah that's good right there got 14 20 day 14 16 14 04 that's uh, close right there you can get there probably in the uh, next few weeks, but yep. <clears throat> if you do like uh, the efficient honing route, then you will probably get that already. So yeah. <clears throat> and if you're playing, of course, like like this, the target for here is more for people that have been playing. If you've been playing playing from day one, then you should uh, be able to be there. And most people are there already. But if you're like a uh, if you took a break in the middle, or if you started late then you can't ask to wait you know because like you can release Valton next year and people will still not be ready for that you know the point is for people that have been playing for a long time <clears throat> Abri Hart, yeah as uh, existing fans of lost ark know there are still many new activity challenges enemies and more that have yet to be released and we can't wait to bring more experiences to arcasia we excited to introduce the first legion raid this month and can't wait to witness your battles against this le legendary foe with that let's dive into the content arriving in may okay here we go and that's the Bolton right there yep 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 that's how it is right there okay legion raid Bolton normal and hard mode yes as i said right you know People seem to think otherwise, but no. Normal and hard release together, they always do. Okay, Volton will introduce the first Legion Raid into the Western version of Lost Ark. Legion Raids are a difficult team-based activity that require teamwork, understand, and execute strategy necessary to counter each Legion commander's unique artistic abilities and mechanics. Hope there is no spoiler of mechanics here. So yeah, just in, <laughs> just in time, yeah, well, welcome to the Simon. Hard mode seems grief, what do you mean? Hard mode is good though. Like hard mode is there for people that can actually reach there and probably have like a higher uh, or people that have higher gear as well like you will still find Volton Heart relatively challenging because you don't have like a uh, legion set yet if you're above 14 45 right now even if you're 14 60 14 75 still you will find that like you know there is still some challenge uh, when you're going against Volton especially when you're new to the game and especially when your engraving is Papega Okay, <clears throat> as Legion raids are challenging and take time, there are gates or checkpoints that will save players' progress as they advance through the raid. Yeah, this is the different thing right here. When Korea release, we actually don't have this, by the way. So this one is like, uh, what's the name? It's like Abyss Dungeon, right? Except there is a checkpoint in the middle. Like, let's say you kill uh, you kill the, the frog, you know, on before Albion, right? And then you, you wipe so many times on Albion, you leave, you disband it, right? When you go back in, you can go back straight into Albion. So that's basically how it works the checkpoint. You can go back with like the same team, different team, 
you can go out repair first or something like that as well then go back in all of this stuff basically so i think it's pretty good but there are like bad sides on this checkpoint as well the bad side is when you're just a re-clearing party uh you want to clear both at the same time because if your party is Papega and you don't clear like the second phase right away, you'll get stuck on phase 2. And there is only rejects on phase 2. At least after like the first few weeks. The Papegas basically. When you're re-clearing, this checkpoint actually is not that good to be honest. <clears throat> Won't make the gap that big? No. I explained so many times Crimson if you're listening. Why would I need that's too expensive? Well, I guess like you just uh, fight Volton with 20% damage reduction then. Congrats, dude. <laughs> P3 incident, yeah. This one is basically gonna be like that right there. So, yeah. It's, it's a good checkpoint, but when you're re-clearing and you get trapped on phase 2, you're gonna get the rejects on phase 2. Because like, the phase 2 is gonna be like the people that are trapping each, each other, people that got trapped, basically. That's basically like uh, the phase 2 people when you re-clear right there. <laughs> Uh, 4045, Nico, yeah. Uh, uh, actually, it depends, I guess. But I mean, like, uh, you don't even know when it's gonna come out, right? So... Yeah, I don't know. Do it at your own risk right there. Volton, 8 player, Legion Raid, 2 gates. That's the checkpoint thing. Introduce a swath of new mechanics. Players will need to be item level 4 win to attempt normal difficulty. And 1445 for hard. Volton Legion Raid will also introduce the new rarity for gear relic. Relic gear can be crafted uh, from materials around in the raid, uh, mainly on hard, I guess. I don't know if like uh, they're actually gonna drop it in normal, like a cat shop, but it's weird. But yeah, it provides a more impactful armor and weapon bonuses alongside bigger stat bonuses and more engraving notes on accessories. Mm -hmm. We know this already, but yeah. Uh, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take it slurp myself. Alright, and next is Descaluda, I guess. Next is Descaluda. You use heavy armor, so Volton and me have the same damage reduction. Well, I guess like no one's dying, right? You don't die, but also the Volton doesn't die. <laughs> At least there is that. At least there is that right there. So yeah, MQ, thank you follow, man. Welcome, dude. Welcome, welcome, man. This Kaluda is what I need. <laughs> yeah, it's this Kaluda right now. Uh, the mightiest guardian you will ever see, man. <laughs> But yeah, Guardians, powerful entities that can tip the... Okay, this is the standard description. New Guardian will arise and must be vanquished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Kaluda will attempt level 14, 15. As with other Guardian race, you can attempt to vanquish this Kaluda alone with a party matchmake with up to three other heroes. Similar to the rewards in Volton Legion Raid. Please, we also have a chance to earn Relic quality from defeating this Kaluda. There you have it right there, you know. People like worries that like, you know, Oh, at 14, 15, I won't be able to like, uh, you know, uh, take advantage of the market, right? Nah, you can because you get relic at fourteen fifteen, and if you're not fourteen fifteen, then what have you been doing, right? <laughs> Six day Pelganos Angel, yeah. But yeah, that's the Scaluda right there. If you're fourteen fifteen, your uh, daily is gonna become so much easier. So much easier is uh, at the same time it makes it like you know resident sleeper too. You might be like yeah, just resident sleeper right there. Yeah, the Scaluda forever, yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then we get Destroyer as well. Destroyer Advanced Class. So yeah, talk about the cataclysmic uh, impact that warriors have on the battlefield, but nothing embodies the better than hammer-wielding Destroyer. Armed with a variety of skills centered around charging into the heart of the fray, their hammer attacks are so catastrophically crushing that destroyers can bend gravity to their will, slowing, launching, uh, pushing, and pulling enemies. Whatever it takes to utterly destroy beyond a shadow of doubt, destroy them. <laughs> Dude, this, <laughs> this description, man. <laughs> This description is so edgy, but you know what? <laughs> it is what it is, I guess, man. <laughs> Dealing massive stagger damage, that's true, actually. This, like, nothing come close to, like, uh, stagger damage when it comes to, like, a uh, destroyer. <laughs> the destroyer is a welcome addition to any party attempting to vanquish powerful foes. They should add, like, the taunt, actually. They can provoke bosses as well. But, you know, I mean, like, it's part of the newer one. Part of the newer, like, change, so, yeah. This story will join the Berserker Paladin Gunlancer as the 4th Warrior Advanced Class right there. <laughs> Can bend gravity itself, yeah. Okay, well that's Destroyer, the new class right there for May. Additional May content is Challenge Guardian Raids. Okay, there is also development for Honing 30, uh, 17, 14, 15. Uh, I don't know. Is it here? There is one at 1460R level, but is it here? I don't know if it is or not. But yeah. <coughs> You took two uh, two week break, so I don't mind doing Volton late. Yeah, but some people are like match uh, making it. They're like a match. They're match mate. They're match club right there. You know, 
they took three week break and they weren't there and they complained that like they can't they they are not there yet well you took a three week break some people still like you know do it right yeah it's a it's difference of effort you know would you recommend Gunster destroyer gun lancer still <laughs> but yeah okay challenge guardian read then this is the wait so they call it challenge then wait challenge or trier now i guess they changed it to the korean name they said it was trial like on the last one but i guess like now now they changed the name to challenge guardian well changing name left and right so yeah they keep changing it every time man <laughs> yeah challenge guardian raids will add new weekly activity for players looking for challenge each uh, week players can attempt to defeat three challenge guardians to be fair this is not a challenge it's just free match but you know they'll take it Every guardian has their own required item level to enter, and each week one guardian will rotate out. What? Every guardian has their own required item level to enter? Replaced by a different foe. That's not how it works, though. What? <laughs> the guardian is the guardian. You have the item level 415, and then you get equalized. That's it, right? It doesn't matter whether. Like, at 415, you can do Felganos Challenge Guardian, basically, if it is there. So, that's not how it works. I don't know why he said it like that. But yeah, there is no different item level requirement. Unless, I don't know, maybe it's Amazon, but... <laughs> yeah, they don't even know how it works exactly, right? That's uh, that's an issue right there. Differing from normal Guardian Raid, Challenge Guardian will apply scale of balance. That's the, basically, the, you know, the equalized stuff. New mech. <laughs> so that your character's item level will be adjusted uh, appropriately to that, that to that of their enemy. Yeah, here's the thing, right? Your character's item level is the thing that is adjusted, right? So this is where the gatekeeping comes in. If you don't have, like, you know, 3-3-3 engraving, let's say, you know, like from Legendary, right? You don't get accepted sometimes. So yeah, but that's everyone's favorite gatekeeping, of course. Because people want that, right? You know, people, people like gatekeeping. That's why they ask for DPS meter. But yeah. Additionally, players cannot use the battle worship in uh, the raid region. Okay, this is weird. This was changed recently. You can do it now. So, I guess we'll see on what it is right there. 3 d is free? Yeah, but what if you're like 13 25 Smurf. <laughs> However, with increased challenge comes increased rewards. A rewards for each challenge guardian can be obtained once per roster per week and offer more diverse rewards than normal guardian raids. Yeah, it's weekly though. But this, uh, this reward on this one is actually pretty good. The reward on like this challenge garden is like 3 to 4 days worth of daily. For, you know, about like 10 minutes uh, content to do. But, you know. <laughs> that's just how it is right there. Alright, new quest and open world activities. Wait, what? Uh, Southburn activities, Chaos Line, Hard Mode. Using the same entry. So many people keep asking basically, right? 10 minutes? Okay, it's 10 minutes for us. I don't know about you guys. Could be like 30 minutes, but for us it's uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> for like all three. Okay, Chaos Line Hard Mode, same entry token, just like people have always asked. Thunder Wing Field Boss, the 1460 Field Boss. As far as I know, you cannot under eye level it, but I don't remember it. Never tried it because like I was already there when like uh, uh, Thunder Wing came out, but we'll see, I guess. Southburn Chaos Gate, Southburn Ghost Ship. And Southburn Chaos Dungeon will be arriving in Arcasia. I get a feeling this is like wrong here. It's not Southburn Ghost Ship should be. So that's why you guys are for the Southburn Ghost Ship. Southburn Ghost Ship is 1490. But obviously that's not gonna be out yet. I would assume. So yeah, there is another Ghost Ship of after 1370 that is 1415. But that's in Punica. So yeah. Southburn Chaos is 1415. Above, yes. Uh, group, of course. Uh, Emmanuel, thank you for the Welcome, dude. Yeah, this is the, uh, weird right here. I mean, like, uh, the southern, the ghost ship, right? Uh, one sec. Uh, Arcasia. Uh, this is the ghost ship right here. But this is next to Punica, 1415 eye level. This is the, the southern one, 1490. I don't know if they're gonna release 1490 as well, man. Goddamn. Are you sure about that? But yeah, this is uh, 1415 right here. I would assume this one or both will come out. Either this one or both. So you only whale ship? Yeah, more like whale ship rather than ghost ship, dude. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, it, it's different right there. <laughs> it's different, different. So I would assume it's either both of them or just like, a, you know, uh, one or the other, basically. Either 14, 15 or both of them. Whales are happy? Nah. This, uh, this like, uh, 14, 90 ghost ship crims is balanced around having relic set. You're gonna get wrecked, basically, coming in without relic set. <laughs> But yeah, so those are the ghost ship right there. Okay. Probably that's the 40 within one. I would say so, yeah. It's either the 40 within one or both of them. 
Okay, Wild Wings Island Arcasia is a fast land filled with myriad of menacing sometimes well less menacing threats seeking revenge for eating their friends family crispy golden chickens are planning to raid the island wait a minute wait this chicken island doesn't have an event in NAU yet huh players turn into chicken or beer to battle chicken boss to earn event coins oh no it's just an event never mind this is an event then I will assume then crispy golden cock <laughs> Yeah, the quicker you defeat waves of enemies, the quicker more chickens appear and the more coins you uh, you can earn. Okay, never mind. This might not be chicken island. No, no, no. I think this is just like a new event or something like that. Yeah, it's event basically. Yeah, ala V2 basically. <laughs> uh, NLZT, they have a problem. Welcome to it. But yeah, so there is the new one right here. New guild activities. While being in guild, being a helpful uh, source of finding raid groups and providing benefits like guild shop. New PvE and PvP guild activities will uh, be arriving in May. Issue challenges across Arcasia to control guild bases to prove uh, guild is the best around. Okay, Island Siege, a PvP guild activity that allows you to better battle other guilds in PvP combat. So GVG, your ranking is determined by how many points you earn from capturing objective and defeating any players. Earn rewards and press like gems, accessory, ability zones, and more. And this is not uh, equalized, by the way. Just in case people are wondering, it is not equalized. If you want equalized, you have your content that's like in arena. But if, uh, if you want a non-equalized PvP, this is your grounds right here. So yeah. <coughs> no clue, Viral. Uh, raid match. Uh, enter a base with your guild. Challenge the powerful Silmile Dev Devourer. One summon. Okay, this is the GVE one basically. You pick a boss, you go in with your guild, and then you kill it basically. That's just how it is. Same thing, same thing. So he's the same. Both of them are good. The one that rewards gold is this one, but the gold is split around like the people that participate on GVG. So most of the time you get nothing because of that, because like uh, you get so little amount. But it is there, it is there. This one just gives you like uh, bloodstones and guildstones, which is nice. But yeah, is literally a whale paradise? Not really. Not necessarily. You don't know how it works yet, basically. There are multiple like uh, island sieges uh, that is going on left and right, right? There is, a, there is two S rank, which is where usually the whales is gonna be there, but there is plenty of other areas where you can participate. Even if you're not like a paying player, you can still participate on it. I know, because I've done it. So, yeah. <laughs> People are ready to camp by whale 1490s? Well, I mean, like, those whales won't join, like, the lower uh, rank one, right? So, there, there is, like, there is multiple area where you can pick, basically. Like, uh, like if you're not, if, if you know, like, you know that Wales is gonna be like on the higher rank, basically, right? So you can do on the lower rank. You still get rewarded for it, but, you know, it's a different kind right there. And if you want, e if you want equalize, then the uh, arena is for you. So there is content for people, basically. There's content for everyone. Like, this is not like entirely like, uh, you know, like free to play is, is entirely isolated on this content. No, not at all. No. You can still participate and you'll be fine. I'm pretty sure on that. Provided that you gear up properly as well. If you don't gear up properly and then you die, well, that's you. <laughs> you didn't gear up properly. <laughs> right, and then next is Neria's wardrobe. So Neria's dress room become Neria's wardrobe. This is the first one, I guess. The flare dress and everything. <coughs> but yeah. Okay, we heard players wanted more skin, so we're adding a month of Neria's wardrobe alongside the normal store updates that will happen in May. Wait, alongside? So there is more then? So this May we might get more like a uh, more avatar on NAU or what there? Yeah, you get new skin right here. This is the dress room right there. Where's booba? No booba on this one. This one is uh, basically casual. The theme for the first one is uh, casual. So yeah, like a uh, like a uh, some uh, like what's the name? I don't know, what was the name of the thing? I forgot what's the theme for like the first Neria dress room, but it's basically like more of a casual. It was one hour ago. <laughs> but yeah, Neria's wardrobe alongside the normal store updates. So I don't know if we're gonna get more than one or not. Yeah, it's a limited skin shop that sells individual skins. Head chest pants will be around an, uh, for roughly a month. Players can buy individual items for their characters such as uh, snapback hats, t-shirts, jean jeans, fit and player dresses and more. Character will be modeling modern fashion while fighting uh, epic bosses. Yeah, Neria dress room is kind of like a unique one. Neria dress room uh, returns basically. So this one like uh, should always come back whenever you get like the second Neria's dress room. They, this they should come back. Unlike like the other avatar that is just gone, right? Uh, this one will will come back. So if you miss like a Neria dress room, you can still buy it later again. 
But at, at the same time, the value of it in auction house wouldn't really jump up because of that. Because you know it's gonna come back. Okay, these are diable too? Correct. These are diable as well, yes. You can die this. Because this yellow is kinda ugly to be honest. The basic flyer dress. But yeah. Looking like CJ from GTA. <laughs> but yeah, that's a dress room. It's a good one right there. It's a good like avatar. You get like omen last time. Uh, now you get this one right there. You get something for everyone right there. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pick use is so ugly. Yeah, but that's not news, you know. You do know yield that like every time they do this like update, right? The picture that they made is always ugly. Did you see the arc pass uh, picture, dude? Like if you haven't seen something ugly, yeah. <laughs> they they need a better like department on this one right here. <laughs> Have weapon skins as well? No, the rest room doesn't have weapon skin, no. Okay, May will also introduce a bunch of quality of life changes, including front and back attack indicator. Exactly what people have been asking for. Finally, dude, just about time. <laughs> Should have been there from the start, but just about time. Yeah, the ability to check daily and weekly content participation in a new menu, UI updates, improved party finder and party invites, updated loot dismantling. Oh, you get the updated loot dismantling. That's really good as well, yeah. That's so you can like auto dismantle if it has like let's say domination, subdue and like you know expertise and all of this basically. Convenience features like market uh, auction house, this is really good as well. So you can like uh, search uh, each search like the auction like much easier. And a few fun features like being able to randomly summon favorite months and new hairstyles for customization. The favorite months kind of whatever, the new hairstyle though, the female one is super good. No elf ears. Wait a minute. They didn't say anything about elf ears though. But I would assume it's in there as well. So yeah. No more elf ears for the magician, yeah. No more uh, elf ears, yeah. <coughs> in here, near your wardrobe, how do you purchase it? Is it in royal? It's in royal, but you can buy it in like auction house. So yeah, like the usual basically. It's the usual. <coughs> this is now with auto dismantle. <laughs> Okay, and then like balance and tuning updates. Here we go. Including a recent rework of the Destroyer Advanced class to increase its impact on the battlefield. Smallgate recently released a balance patch on, uh, on many of the Advanced class to tune update and further define these classes' roles on the battlefield. We'll provide more specific for players unfamiliar with these changes in the re release notes, but you can look forward to these changes coming to Arcasia alongside the Destroyer. So that's the latest balance patch then. If you know your class or if you do any research, you would know what's coming to you, so... Yeah, we don't need to talk about this. People know already. But yeah, auto dismantle. Oh yeah, uh, I guess that same name accessories is not there yet, right? They didn't say anything about same name accessories. So you cannot have duplicate accessories normally. In Korea, you can. But it's Korea, right? Korea always uh, like that right there. Okay, what is this heaven sites here? Okay. Blaster buff incoming. Blaster buff incoming, yeah. But yeah, Blaster getting their buff, Blaster getting their buff, yes. So yeah, good for you, good for you. There is no Phaeton Pass, doesn't seem like it, yeah. We'll talk about it after this then. Let's finish this. So we're excited for the new up uh, activities coming to Arcasia later in May. Seeing player attempt the first Legion raid, passing more endgame content, watching guild versus guild action ramp up. We know that the players are always curious on what's on the horizon. Now that we've locked in Volton, Descaluda, and more endgame content for May. We'll be taking a look uh, at the roadmap for summer and share a glance uh, later this month at our plans. As always, we'll continue monitoring player data and feedback into our decision making and look forward to hearing your thoughts. There you have it right there. So yeah, hey man, two weeks earlier, right? It's an improvement. Last, uh, last month, it was one week earlier. This time, it's about two weeks earlier. So, you know, at least they're improving, right? At least they're improving. Apply war answer changes? Yes, because it will clear the class, I think. Nah, you're stupid if you think like that. But yeah. Okay, uh, uh, uh. should should I start uh, looking into fitting Hitmaster into my build? Probably gonna be more expensive now. Uh, it's fine. You don't really have to. It's okay. The standard one is still okay. But yeah, my hope in for indicators turn into like a reality. Yeah. Okay. Well, speaking of like a power pass, right? So it was confirmed that we're not getting power pass for destroyer, right? Not getting power pass for destroyer, which is kind of like a shame, right? Kind of a shame. I'm mean, like, I understand why they do it like that. Why they say that, like, you know, uh, okay, we can't give another power pass because it's too early, it's too fast, right? I mean, that part I understand, it's okay. But why couldn't you tell us earlier for that? Because, like, so it's not me, obviously, because I don't care, right? But some people wanted to main destroyer, they get the power pass, and then they used it on Glavier. 
Because under the pretense of like the other three region always gets a power pass whenever there is a new class release right there, you know? It's not about like, you know, oh, I don't get power pass, I'm matched. No, it's not about that. It's the fact that like you used already because like we didn't know before. Like if they say that like, you know, this power pass is for both Destroyer and Glavier. If you use it, you won't get another one for Destroyer. Just tell us that, you know. They love baiting. I don't think it's baiting. It's just like, you know, the lack of communication. The usual right there. It's good right now. But not giving the power pass has that issue right there. The, not, give, not having the power pass is fine if you would have told us that like, you know, you don't get power pass for destroyer. So people can save it for destroyer. And A will use it for Glavier because they cannot read obviously. But who cares? It's their fault, right? But yeah. I don't know. We'll say I guess. Ne next uh, power pass will be on June or July. Could be like on the next class release, yeah. Just give us your pass. You're not getting one, I think. So yeah. So bad at communicating. Well, it's getting better, coffee. It's getting better. At the very least, it's getting better. But yeah, the issue with like uh, that uh, not having purpose in destroyer is not that we don't have it. It's because like we didn't know that we're not gonna have it. So people use their old power pass. Yes, we get power pass. Or you get we get power pass. But most people probably already used it for Glavier. I would assume, right? But yeah, that's just how it is right there. Uh, Cindy, thank you for the follow, man. Welcome, dude. <laughs> How good people read at Express, yeah, but if, if you tell them and then they decide to like be stupid, right? That's their fault, you know But right now this is partially their fault But yeah <laughs> Every class comes with the pass, but AGS is a bit blind not necessarily Rixi because like every like other region gets like a pass as well for their alts uh, For like a new class right there that's why, like, uh, every time, like, uh, someone asks, yes, we get it right there. We weren't expecting that you're not gonna get one, right? But the reason makes sense. Because you get, like, class way more often than, like, uh, us, because you're catching up. So the reason makes sense. But at least tell us that it's gonna happen, right? So at least we can prepare. If we don't care about Glavier, but we want Destroyer as our main, but we didn't know, so use it on Glavier, because uh, you thought it was free. Well, it's not free anymore, right? It kind of sucks right now. So you have to, like, uh, raise it right now. But yeah, that's uh, that's basically the main issue of it. They are improving at the very least, yeah, at the very least. So you say they didn't know it either, Small gets stuff there. They can say they didn't know it either, yeah. Well, Small, it's both fault basically, Small gate and Amazon, both of them. Like Amazon could have asked Small gate. They could have asked first, you know, because surely like if you play the game, you would understand that, right? <laughs> but yeah, used it for Paladin, yeah. Bangman, because there is no way we are getting power pass every month for the rest of the year. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the, that's playing it safe, Sneaker. But not everyone does that. You know? Not everyone does that. The reasoning why you don't get power pass every month is understandable. Yes, it's too fast, right? But, uh, what's the name? But, like, at least tell us. So people that want to play Destroyer and not Glavier can use it for the Destroyer. But yeah, Remnant, thank you for the following. Welcome to it. Rox admitted that not telling us earlier about not getting a second pass destroy was a mistake. Well, I mean, like, they know it's a mistake, at least. So at, uh, hopefully they don't do it again, right? But yeah. Express problem was also Small Gate's fault? Not necessarily. <laughs> that one is different. Right? That one is people, like, being illiterate, so... <laughs> they never promised they were going to do everything exactly the same, plus our system is not the same. You're not wrong, yeah. You're not wrong, you're not wrong. But I mean, like, the only information you can get, because you have, like, no communication, right? The only information you can get right now is based on predecessing server, like the other regions. That's the only thing you can do, right? Because you have nothing. You literally know nothing about, the, uh, about like, NAU, right? So you have to base it on something that is, like, more concrete. And at this point, the more concrete version is uh, the other version. And every other version gets it. And this one, this uh, like NAU version didn't get it, and that's understandable, yeah. Uh, the reason why it's not there, it's understandable. It's just like, we, sh uh, we should have known earlier. So, yeah. They might give any people decided to extend character slot, they should just give the power pass. Mm, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they're thinking with it, but that's just how it goes right there. So, unfortunately, nothing you can do right there. What will happen if they give it every month? I don't know. I mean, like, it's just get that. So like we'll probably get one every two months, so you choose one of the two class releases in that window. Possibly. Right now, the the precedence is that they, they're gonna release like classes like pretty in the pretty fast. But probably you're gonna get one power pass every two class or something like that. So the next time there is roadmap about like the classes, expect that at least. You know, expect it. But right now we don't have any like info before in NA, because this is like the second class that released, right? Like we didn't know, know that before. 
now we know, but it's kind of too late, right? For like a destroyer. <laughs> Yeah, also TBH patch is everything we wanted. It's amazing. Skins quality of life, Walton, more events. Patch uh, looks amazing. Just hope it comes uh, 19th, not later. Hope it comes on the 19th, right? Because like the Guardian event goes to 19th, so probably it would be. Uh... <coughs> uh... Yeah, manage, uh, managing user expectation is the responsibility of the publisher. It's not the user's fault they expected uh, a power pass. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's not the user's fault that they expected a power pass. Not really. Not exactly right there. It's uh, it's both sides. It's both sides, as I said. If let's say small gate like tell, tells, tells us that like okay, destroyer is second class, is too early. You're not gonna get a power pass. This one power pass is for either glaivir or destroyer. Your choice right there. Then you you already manage the expectation. If the user like ex still expect a power pass, then it's their fault. But right now they didn't say that. So now it's both sides. Then <laughs> you know, part of it because like you expect power pass every time. The sec uh, the second part is because like small gate didn't tell us. So yeah, I don't think there is tier 1, tier 2 honing buff as well. So yeah, I want to know some friend, no pass, should I level 700 manually or wait around 2 months for a pass? Uh, it's up to you. If you want a pass, then you level it manually. Or you can be patient and like, uh, you know, uh, you can be patient and wait for the, the, the next power pass. So yeah. <coughs> uh, 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 uh. I did already, rip call. When they release the power pass, they market as for your brand new Glaver. Additionally, it originally didn't uh, last until Destroyer released. Now they say it was meant for Destroyer as well, even though they never mentioned it. Uh, the only th reasonable thing to do here would be to provide another power pass with the uh, information that this is a one-time thing because lack of connection and shouldn't be expected in the future. I mean, yeah, it was partially their mistake. Like it would, uh, like if they just say that, like, okay, this is our mistake. We'll give a power pass for this one, but it wouldn't happen. It wouldn't happen again in the future. Then everyone's happy, basically, something like that. But I mean, like, uh, yeah, right now at this point, that lack of communication is kind of like, uh, that's the main issue right there. It's not not getting the power pass. It's the fact that we didn't know that, like, that one power pass is supposed to be for both of this class. So, yeah, it was free solace run, yeah. Uh, challenge Abyss is not there yet. Only Challenge Guardian. <clears throat> And the date was end of June. I mean, like it's to be. Uh, it, it was uh, not necessarily Joey because I can tell you right now that like when in, an event happens in Korea, Gunslinger release on January, Striker release on March. We got two power pass, even though like the power pass for like Gunslinger is up, is up until April. So you can literally power pass uh, like power pass like two Striker if you want to. So yeah, again based on like uh, based on like the older servers, we get that. But you didn't hear. So it's different right there. Different, different, different. I never do smurf. So yeah. I don't know. I mean like it's just like uh, my thoughts on like uh, the no power pass. It kind of sucks uh, because of that. But I mean like uh, the reason is understandable. And they already admit it's a mistake as well. So hopefully they, uh, they don't repeat that in the future. And uh, now we have the expectation as well. <laughs> no, we will. <laughs> Getting punished because of their lack of communication. Well, you see, rather than getting punished, uh, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, like, of course, it sucks, right? It sucks for like people in NAU right now that wanted to play Destroyer or something like that. It it, it kind of sucks for them, and it's partially because of like small gate and Amazon's fault as well. So yeah. Power Pass and Express are even are two separate things used on two different character. We really should have used uh, both and Destroyer. Oh, okay. So at least I'm going, okay, we'll read that later. Yeah, I don't know. I mean like other than that, other than that, uh, most of this update is really good, you know. Uh, you locked in Volton and uh, Descaluda for uh, the new content. So basically like a no delay for you guys. So that's good, right? You guys don't like delays, right? Am I right, boys? Destroyer coming up and then Challenge Guardian. Uh, new like uh, side content and stuff like that. New, um, new like a uh, source of materials, GVG, GVE stuff, more avatar, and quality of life and balance update. So yeah, seems like a really good update to be honest for this one. So you guys look forward to it in the future for like uh, the May update then. Hopefully it's on the 19th, but I guess we will see on how it goes. We will see, we will see, yeah. 
If you say power pass, expecting them to not release one destroy, then you will see on two passes when they decide to release destroy with one. It was a guesswork at that point, at, that, at this point, and it shouldn't be a guesswork, right? It shouldn't be. You should understand. You should know that. Like uh, they should have told us that. But that's just how it is, right there. Yeah, they are trying. At the very least, they are trying. They are trying. Uh, one second. Ask me again later. But yeah. Uh, that's just how it goes right there. Southern Ghost Ship, I think it's a mistake, Olaf. I don't think it's the, the 1491. It's Papega right there. <laughs> well, I can just answer Hans instead then. So, Chaos Line Heart is 1415. Southern Chaos Gate is uh, also 1415? I forgot. Southern Ghost Ship is Southern Chaos Dungeon. Southern Ghost Ship is like... There is a Southern Ghost Ship for 1490, but I doubt that's actually what they meant. There is another one at 1415. It's either 1415 or both of them is gonna come out. So yeah, and Chaos Dungeon is uh, 1415, 1445, and 1475. So those are the item level for it. So yeah, that's how it goes, that's how it goes right there. Okay, we will see, we will see. Okay, anyway, but that's the main update reveal, man. So far, like a really good update, aside from like that part with the power pass with the destroyer. But, you know, it is what it is, right? Kinda sucks, but nothing we can do about it. But other than that, the rest of it is like a really good update. So yeah, good update boys. Look forward to it. Okay, let's get back into it. Then.